Diana, mm. this is Arthur, the electric dude. You're telling me a story I've never heard before, and this is happening in Calgary. Would you be so kind, tell other people what is happening with you and your uh, insurance company that is uh, obviously uh, after you to change everything they pulled your insurance. Can you please just l let, let us know? Okay. Okay. I had a guy come out from the cooperators in May to check a wall that had a leak. He left. All he told me was to play the for fan on the wall. The cooperators said they weren't covering anything. I didn't ask for the coverage. All I wanted was the name of the guy to tell me to make sure of what I was looking for to make sure it didn't mold. About a month later, they sent a chap over because they wanted a photograph of my furnace, my hot water heater, and my electrical wiring panel. Three weeks after that, I got a letter from cooperators saying they would not cover us anymore. Our coverage was totally cancelled. With all the things I phoned around trying to get, I finally got the head of the guy from Calgary to come over and tell me why they had cancelled me, because they never said, hey, if you fix this, we don't like that, whatever. There was just total, you're finished. They came out, his chap came out, he said he didn't like the looks of my shingles. He didn't like the fact my house had aluminum wiring. Well, excuse me, it's the original wiring that they've been insuring for the last 30-odd years. And he didn't like my house keeling. And so I was cancelled. Now I have no house insurance whatsoever. I finally have found somebody who may take us on if we get the aluminum wiring brought up to new code, which I'm certainly willing to do, but the cooperators never gave me that chance. How do you think you were treated by this insurance company? I thought I was treated like dirt. I really did. I thought, we, yeah, until this letter came, I thought we were on the class one, class A client list. We've never missed a payment. We've never had an NSF check. Our claims have been very, very small, except the, for, the, the hail damage that was 1991. I mean, I've never complained about my bill, no, nothing. And, and to suddenly get canceled out of the blue, Neither of the chaps that came over, the fellow that call, that came over about the, the wall that was leaking, the fellow that came over to take the picture, nobody said, uh, you know, maybe there's a problem here, maybe you should address this. Nothing. Why couldn't they say to me, excuse me, but we're not happy with this, you have so many days to fix it, to just, to just drop me. And then because I'm dropped, now no other insurance company wants to insure us. That's amazing. It, it, it's not amazing. It's horrible. It, it is... My husband and I are both older people, obviously. I still work. He doesn't. He's retired. This is not doing our health any good, I'll tell you that. I'm not sleeping well at night because I have no house insurance. Diana, can I ask you a question? Sure. If, if you'd have someone that would be... Uh, approach the same way as you were by an insurance company, what would you advise them? If I did what, I'm sorry? If you'd have another, uh, someone, uh, either your neighbor or your friends, and if, they, if they'd if they be in this predicament, what would you advise them to do? Switch companies right now. Switch, if, yes. they're, in, if they're covered by cooperators and they have aluminum wiring, go find somebody else before cooperators drop you, because they will. Then I think I don't trust much. them one bit now. Thank you very much. And and I had I had trusted them totally before. Absolutely, I thought I was their friend. Yep. They, they they were my friend. Yes. Now you called me out, Arthur, the electric dude. That was the first thing you did to get an estimate on yes. on uh, recovering your aluminum wiring or making it uh, into a copper ending. Yes. Which is commonly called pigtailing. But you were concerned who the electrician is going to be, how good of a job are they going to, to do? Absolutely, yes. absolutely. And you found it's out not It's not something that you can have somebody that's a junior guy or somebody that's only a kind of Saturday-type electrician. Yes. You have to have somebody that knows what they're doing. Thank you very much, Diana. We shall give you a price. Okay. And if you don't mind, I, is it possible to Let's photograph that letter? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You're welcome.